you so much for talking to us thank at so Entrepreneur much. today. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been really long. And, uh, I this, uh, kind of read your articles and everything. So it's nice to be a part of this. So thanks to Spice. Pleasure. To... Pleasure, pleasure to hear that. And uh, I also appreciate the kind of work you've been doing and uh, just loved your movies. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Ashwini, I was reading about your journey and I understand that you, know, you worked in the corporate life for about 15 years or more and then you thought about getting into films and um, taking to direction and then production and script writing, all of it. So if you could take us back to time and uh, talk to us about how this transition happened for you. Uh, so it goes back to a very long time back. Uh, and for me, October 2nd actually plays a very important role in my in my life. Uh, so the reason being, of course, it was uh, Gandhi Jayanti and uh, uh, there's a great philosophy Gandhi ji has. And at the same time, I remember I was uh, uh, doing um, uh, my uh, class 12 uh, commerce and uh, I had pretty much got a decent percentage in, in, in school and I always wanted to be a painter. Uh, but uh, coming from a very middle class family and a family which has a lot of professors and teachers around, my mother is a teacher, my father was a, a double PhD in plant pathology and he was a professor in uh, teaching in in uh, Algeria in French, uh, in the oh, French wow. Institute. So, you know, so it comes from there. So one of my uncles was an IIT, uh, has been an IIT prof. Uh, so my mother wanted me to uh, to do my CA, which I don't understand at all. I think nobody's going to happen because of that. Uh, mm-hmm. And she wanted me to uh, do my CA, uh, study maths and uh, become a chartered accountant. Uh, but then I kind of uh, retaliated on October 2nd saying that either I finish my 12th, I'm going to leave my 12th, I'm not going to do my uh give my class 12 exams and I'm just going to leave uh-huh. everything and just going to start off painting. And she was like, no, no, no. How can we do that? You know, we middle class people, how can we just read, randomly just leave everything and just go, you know, we need to figure things for you. And uh, she said, okay, you want to do painting, right? So she was, she because she's been a teacher and a principal of a school, she kind of found out that there's something called advertising where you can actually have do your art and at the same time, you you make money because it's media mm-hmm. um yeah. and uh, uh, because some of some one of her friends brother was in was in advertising or something like that and i still remember very clearly that in class 12 i started interning she put she made me work go and start interning in network advertising that's when i did my first internship okay uh, and I didn't know head or tail of it, but I was working for the network advertising event management company. So I was doing a lot of events, designing a lot of events and everything. And from there, I uh, kind of joined Sophia Polytechnic and and did my uh, BFA there, which is Bachelor of Fine Arts in Applied Arts. Okay. And uh, so while I was working there, uh, while I was studying in uh, Sophia College for five years, after class 12, I... Uh, I was working also. So I was working in network advertising. I was doing a job there. Uh, okay. And I was working, uh, doing also internships in Mudra at that point of time. So I was working and uh, making, uh, working and also supporting my school fee, college fees is because art itself is very expensive, you know, right from buying camera to painting yeah. to a lot of different things. So that's how it started. And uh, by the time I finished my fifth year, it was very clear that uh, whoever gets the gold, uh, this I'm talking about nine, two, 1999, 2000. So uh, okay. it, it was that time and it was uh, the millennial year. I very clearly remember. And it was a thing that, you know, if you get the gold, if you, like if you're a if you get the goal, then you get into Ulka or you get into Burn Chaitra at that point of time Chaitra Leo Burnett or yeah. Low. So these are the three uh, advertising agencies you get to because they get a special preference for anyone who gets gold, mm-hmm. and there will be less women who are actually getting into advertising. So a lot of my school college. Uh, friends in so far as were either getting into graphic design or they were traveling outside the country to do their masters in in design and things like that mm-hmm. uh, 
I wanted to actually go to NID, but uh, I could not because of financial pressure. So, and now I teach at NID. So I just, I am visiting, I like go every year for one week to teach and do master class in NID. Wow, and life has come full circle like, for you. Full circle for me. So I always tell myself that, you know, if I was not, um, a, one, one teaching side of me and being a prof, I think is always there is because of my background. So I mm-hmm. like being in, in campuses and having my little jola <laughs> which is very really unlike Hollywood so yeah, yeah so, certainly um, yeah so then uh, I got into Leo Burnett as a as a trainee art director mm-hmm. uh, it was a time when all the who and who were there it was Angelo Dias and everyone if you know anything about advertising and that that period mm-hmm. So I worked under the best of best people. I learned a lot under K. V. Shridhar, Arvind Sharma, and the who's who, Agnello Dias, everyone, Vikram Kaikwad. And uh, slowly and steadily, obviously, because of, uh, I think I'm a hardworking person, so kind of uh, started moving uh uh, in terms of gradually progressing in, in the creative side and then you become the creative director then I started handling PNG for a very long time so most of my brands I launched Whisper have a happy period and then I launched uh, uh, Bella Collestant home uh, the hair color home hair okay. color and then I had launched Fiat I had launched Tata Indicom I was just talking yesterday to someone they didn't know my profile and I said that that I just launched your own brand. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was like, you know, the, uh, the, the MBAs are just coming now and and uh, they were asking, so what do you do and everything. So it's kind of a little weird. Uh, but yeah, you always have to be grounded is because uh, uh, it's glad it's great that people still do not know your journey. So <laughs> then this makes you work harder. Uh, and like you know to tell more things or maybe I don't talk too much about myself and that's why spice I think is there right now I I was very I was very like the thing that the brand you're handling I launched that brand so he was like oh okay (laughs) so um uh so yeah so uh then uh then I uh, then we I worked on Sony Entertainment Television for a very long time. So I was very okay. I stuck to where I worked. So I wasn't in, in Burnett for like sixteen years, and I um, I was heading Bombay ECD, and I was uh, handling uh, ASEAN Rejoice. I was uh, I was doing a lot of things. I was at Can. I was everywhere, wherever. I mean, you know boardroom you you say right mm-hmm. you need women in the boardroom so yeah uh, uh, I think because of my bosses okay Vishidhar and Arvin Sharma who used to really encourage women uh you know to be heading brands and to be heading uh, talking to clients and everything so basically I was being there done that like like my mother says you know uh that you have a executive secretary and you travel business so so <laughs> You know, those kind of things and uh, uh, I was even uh, almost uh, going to settle a shift to Bangkok to handle the ASEAN region but then okay. uh, I fell in love with Nitesh and I decided <laughs> not to pursue that so mm-hmm. so so that's what happened uh, and just when I was going to go to Bangkok everything was set and uh, then I kind of realized that what is more important, you know, to have a companion or to move ahead and do this. But I think life has always has given you choices and the questions which needs to be asked to yourself. So yeah. I think at that point of time, more than my career, having a, a family was more important. So so that I so I chose uh, Nitesh over Thailand, so <laughs> getting a really. <laughs> very lucrative job in Thailand so uh uh so yeah but then he keep he keeps saying that that you know this if this was not happened then this would not happen so uh then I started handling Sony Entertainment Television and I was handling the brand I've launched about what some 170 80 shows wow right from Badi Ache Lagte to How to Complete with Ekta I worked with her very closely on to redefining how you, do you look at promotion, promotional ads, mm-hmm. promotional mm-hmm. campaigns. Uh, 
so right from from calling it promos for a fiction show we started calling it ads you know we we had an idea for a story so mm-hmm. and that's why i think my interest for storytelling and to tell stories because we anyways used to write stories we we were brand yeah. people uh, we understood clients we understood research we understood marketing pr everything around it is because we were we were custodians of a brand mm-hmm. and uh, uh, so we used to it was like our baby every brand was like our baby and then when i moved on uh, to handling sony entertainment television uh, i kind of realized there were a lot more stories to tell and the more and more we were talking about the stories and uh, i was uh, telling a story for indian idol every year i was telling a story for kon banega karodpati for almost i think this is the first year we have not done a campaign for them so uh-huh. uh but otherwise for the past 12 years it was all all work and that year uh, i did a campaign um, uh for konpadega karodpati where i insisted to the uh, to our client who who are um, amazing uh, uh clients who understood you know what what it was to see at that point of time this i'm talking about 2016 15 13 2000 okay 12 13 when we had a kbc campaign where it was basically the uh, you know the whole idea is that because of where you come from you can you can never be small you know if you do not know how to speak english doesn't mean that your knowledge is less you can still mm-hmm. move ahead so yeah. i insisted to the client that you know what we want one which would be a woman on the on the hot seat she needs to be okay. there and she needs to break diversities in terms of because they had never seen a woman on the hot seat and we're talking her talking to amita bachchan would be such a great strategy to have to have more women on the hot seat and now you have so many women there yeah and the client bought into the idea and that's how we said we got this girl from haryana and it was her story about at that point of time uh, there was this really a uh, serious issue of you know uh, uh, the uh, had not having a girl in the family eliminating the girl baby before she's born is because they need more boys to carry forward the business or whatever mm-hmm. and uh, things have changed considerably now from what it was and what it is now so yeah story was about this girl from haryana where the 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 father wants her to like you know just get married and move move out of home and so her her places in the kitchen so every time she's asking a question or she's saying something she's saying uh, her father keeps telling her that you know your places in the kitchen and you're not supposed to do things and i and i still remember that shoot really well is because um i had gone for the shoot and um the the uh, the women of the house so me there and uh, mm-hmm. i kept from the agency i was a creative person that time and uh, they they dragged me into the room they like they literally dragged me into the room and i thought maybe kya mm-hmm. ho gaya and all very nice you know uh, women who were very had beautiful faces and they said uh, that uh, why have you come here mm-hmm. and uh, i said uh, because uh, i um, uh, make ads and said ads kya hota hai so i said no ye jo aap dekhte ho na to aap iska hum ad banate hai to ye kbc hai na bachchan sir ke sath to that they understood uh, okay. they said uh, to ye jo uh, sath mein hai aapke pati hai to i said no uh, mere colleagues hai jo uh, jo mere sath kaam karte hai acha to aapko chhod dete hai aise hi bahar jana so i said ha hmm. kyunki kaam hai aur main ye karti hu अच्छा तो बच्चे बच्चे हैं तो मैं बोला यस आई हैव टू किड्स कितने साल के हैं मतलब कि चार साल के नहीं तभी हाँ तभी तीन साल के थे चार साल के थे तो आई सेड यस तो मतलब कि अच्छा तो फिर घर पे कौन संभालता है मेरी मेरी मम्मी है मम्मी आ जाती है जब मैं बाहर जाती हूँ मेरी मम्मी आती है बोला okay. अच्छा मम्मी कितनी अच्छी है इनकी देखो बेटी को आगे बढ़ने दे रहे हैं और ये ये कर रही है so uh, and then one of the women uh, very quietly told me because she didn't want anyone else to hear it outside the outside the room she said mm-hmm. mini baby hai na bed padhne ja rahi hai wo abhi aati hi hogi wo gudgaon jaati hai padhne aur ghar ko maine sambhal liya hai to usko ek time pe jaane ko bolti hu aur aa jaate hai baki sab wo kar leti hai par usko mere ko chahiye ki wo padhe aur wo bed kar rahi hai that made me realize that there is so much more for us to tell a storyteller like beyond 
the money we make beyond the position we have and i think i was very i was very maybe i didn't have the money uh, my family didn't have the money but they still but my mother had the education my mother had the 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 foresight that you know that my daughter needs to be where she needs to be uh, yeah. and i felt that if 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 my voice could could translate into so many more voices where where so many girls could have a choice uh coming from not so privileged backgrounds maybe 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 there is something more there than me uh, than me continuing to do what i do really well uh but was that my purpose i don't think so that was my purpose because my purpose had always uh has always been um uh, like i always say i'm a very empathizing creator uh mm-hmm. and uh yes i am a pretty a pretty much uh, i handle my finances really well i i write from the beginning when i was earning 25000 rupees uh, i used to put 10000 rupees into into mutual funds you know okay so that's how it was and uh, mm-hmm. i've always been someone who has been saved money done my own thing you know so uh, for me even marriage never uh, was like a like a thing and i think i also married a guy who kept both of us as individuals who were not like so for me it was like i need to my mother had very clearly told me this one thing sorry i'm jumping here but my mother had very clearly told me this one thing that you know it's very important to get educated it's very important to have a job for yourself and it is very important to earn your own living because you never yeah. know tomorrow what will happen you still need to stand walk by to what you believe in so that if anything happens to you tomorrow you know that you have you can stand on your own feet because you life is so unpredictable right you need to have your yeah. own own path and then she also told me that but you still fall into fall in love and you need to get married and you need to have kids also <laughs> 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 just there like goes, a typical mother <laughs> there goes the from you were here and suddenly you go <laughs> <laughs> no but because because your generation thinks that no these are things which are not important but mark my words these are things also which are important and doesn't mean and then said you have kids but you don't leave your job you continue with your job didn't we all take care of ourselves mm-hmm. we still didn't have any help but here there is everyone you know so you need to continue doing all these things yeah. and you have to do things on your own you never take money from anyone so it was also engraved in my in my in my head that mm-hmm. that uh, for me i felt that you know there's something more there's something more for me i think i need to have more of a voices because yes um, in advertising there were very few women and they were we had great bosses like i always say this thing when we have more women men encouraging women women to be uh in the drawing in the in the uh, uh in the conference room and Old many room, yeah. men, and many men uh figuring a uh, lives for women to 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 lead is when we will have a a, a place for equals and we'll have more women who would be out there to encourage more men and women to move forward it doesn't it doesn't become it uh, doesn't de- become a case of extremes because mm-hmm. i still feel that uh being an entrepreneur today also or being being someone who uh, who knows how to lead good leadership only comes when you know what you've gone through and how you need to get people around you to start elevating and uh, that that leadership idea comes only when when you are walking along with people when you have people around you also who treat you as equals because then you're not trying to prove a point you're only making sure that everyone elevates and everyone uh, d- makes their mistakes when rises up so yeah, so and i wanted to leave the first person of course i didn't the last person i told was my mother okay. the first person i went and told was my boss uh mm-hmm. kevish sheter and i told him i want to leave and i want to make films and uh, mm-hmm. he said that uh, just wait do one thing just wait for some more time your provident fund uh, provident fund to hey but your gratuity also will happen no <laughs> because they have spent enough time i said oh yeah that's a good idea <laughs> i will make you gratuity so uh, so then he said that i also listen it's like you're a public limited company so you have done really well so maybe you know next year there will be some more bonuses and all you will get 
so this mm-hmm. and but till that time what do you do one thing uh why don't you see what you can do in the agency itself as a director as a as a writer uh and then of course uh i spoke to nitesh about it and he told me that you know what i have one story why don't you direct it and see what it is like mm. and mm. it's called so break this i said okay fine i'll direct it so there were people around me who always felt that you know what okay at least let her try let her do these things and i think that yeah. is very important um but at the same time when i left uh and i actually started there, there were more people who believed me in the uh in the feature film world than in my own advertising world so for the first one and a half years i didn't get any work as a, as in okay. advertising as a director okay uh one and a half two years i didn't get but thank thanks to my stars or or my work or whatever i was just making feature films continuously so um but uh, but i also understand that it takes time for people to trust to believe you as a person but i was told once that you know maybe because you're a woman that's why you're not getting to direct ads oh so i was like yeah, uh, why would that be you know mm. that mm. uh i think after about 9 years now i just recently shot an uh, ad which is a very male centric brand uh for anchor switches and i literally mm-hmm. went and told the client and i told the agency thank you and they were like why your work is so good and you know and i went and told the client also thank you such an amazing client and i told and they said why your work is so good you know you've done such an amazing ad right now and i said no because you you you're choosing more women to to tell your stories mm-hmm. so he said oh that's such a nice uh yeah. we never thought of it that way but i said you mm-hmm. never thought of it that way but i feel i feel it is my moral responsibility to tell you thank you uh so maybe you know so this are the kind of little social service work i do in terms of you know <laughs> inst- instilling that you that somewhere unknowingly knowingly we do things which might just which might just add so much more value to a woman's life yeah. at that point of time and uh, because it is not about the kind of money you make or what you're doing it's also about self assurance reassurance i would say it's also mm-hmm. about uh, it's also about letting everyone know that there is more to do to be than what you are so then that happened uh, nil bate uh, uh, so i did that short film which got a national award and and then i we started writing nilbati sanata right in the office is because we could not afford to leave you are getting your paychecks and of course the office knew about it and hmm. uh, the, and then i went to one person because i knew that person through 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 from one production house you get to know and all that and i yeah. because there's some good works i went to ajay rai who's an is a executive producer now he's a producer and i i asked him whether he would be interested to just take the script because my idea was to tell good stories mm-hmm. it was not about me directing anything i just wanted to tell good stories in a longer format so maybe i would leave not leave i didn't have any plan i don't think so far i'm very impulsive that way in terms yeah. of taking quick decisions and moving itna sochne ki zarurat nahi hai and uh, and he told he told me such a beautiful script why don't you only direct it and i was like okay <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's cool uh okay that was a place i said okay give me at least <laughs> a week to think about it and i'll come back to you and uh, that decision was very quick that decision was very quick it came from taking a sabbatical to almost leaving and oh. left there yeah so taking a sabbatical and uh, me getting uh, being told that you have your gratuity and provident fund mm-hmm. and then also being told that you know you have a husband to take care of you so you don't have to worry i said no that's not what it is it is mm-hmm. about my own self respect and that's not arrogant it's not arrogant yeah there it is together just everything is there but what i am going to do right now is about the decisions i am taking i can always fall back on of course i can fall back on my mother i can fall back on my husband i can fall back on my friends um who will who will figure life for me but at the end of the day i think the most important thing for all of us is that you are responsible for your own path whether it is right or wrong 
because you can fall and only you can rise and but you will have a lot of supporters to help you through if they feel good for you and they want you to rise up again and that's how nilbadi sanata happened <laughs> and uh, once nilbadi sanata happened uh i started i was coming back from nilbadi uh, shooting nilbadi sanata and uh, uh i was at delhi airport for magra mm-hmm. and i was very bored so i i'm a, a very avid reader i read a lot oh wow and uh, and that's how the first book also happened so so i read i read really a lot mm-hmm. and uh, i picked up this book called ingredients of love because it is a very easy read and i kind of realized that when your mind is too hectic now you won't be able to sleep or anything so i said okay let me just read like this little <laughs> chick flick kind of thing and just yeah. see what and i kind of finished the book i reached home mm-hmm. uh, obviously uh, i was meeting nitesh almost after two and a half three months mm. and uh, <laughs> first thing i look at was it i didn't like this book i think this can be made into a film and uh, and nitesh is like oh, you just come back from a shoot <laughs> what's up and i said no i uh, i think this can be made and then he read it and okay. he said yeah can be made into a film and uh, that's how we started writing bailik barfi oh lovely <laughs> and uh, like i said everything in life sometimes impulse decisions in life are good it just mm-hmm. uh it can backfire also but I, i mean what is life without risk to be slightly more fearless and uh, and that's how uh, this happened the one who was a very very upset was my mother because she felt that oh. i don't have a secretary now and i don't i won't travel to can <laughs> i don't go uh, the duty free shop bags won't come which she needs to get <laughs> it's like a funny like that i can write a web series on my mother so <laughs> she's a drama queen and keep telling her you're a drama queen so and uh, uh and i started writing that and then of course we pitched it and uh, aishman came on board after seeing will patel sanata in an offline okay. wow. so you need people to trust you I, my films were not out till then mm-hmm. and uh, he had then i called him to see the offline and uh, i thank aishman because he trusted me and my judgment of my work kriti also did the same thing she just came and saw my offline of will patel sanata and she came on board that was her first film uh, which uh, was completely in terms of her uh, like we do start all the acting from her in yeah. that i'm very proud of what kriti has achieved today and she just got the national award yesterday yeah yes and uh, bareilly ki barfi was really a turning point i think for both of us in terms of what we did and uh, ajay kumar rao was there he also came and and uh, this day before yesterday i was at the airport and there was this auntie who comes and tells me can i take a picture with you and i was like yeah she like apni bareli ki barfi banayi hai na mujhe bahut achi lagti hai that that is joy uh, for me yeah. uh, to just see like you know people unknown people just coming and saying you uh, you uh, i really like your work or you know there are things and then what i started doing is that i just felt that the kind of uh, messages i used to get on instagram and, and the messages which i used to get from a lot of young kids and especially women girls who mm-hmm. who look up to you who who want to hear you so i started doing a lot of college visits and maybe because the the t the prof in me just the jhola and this thing in me just like <laughs> landed up <laughs> and uh, i uh, started doing that a lot is because i just felt that there's so many youngsters out there who 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 maybe with my little knowledge of from wherever i've come i can make a difference but then wo jo chaska hota hai na wo kam nahi hota bari liki prati hui uske baad panga i made panga and then uh, we started uh, when panga happened covid kicked in yeah. and after uh, after during covid uh, we got the opportunity to uh, work on mahesh and leander pieces docu docu drama okay. and uh, so i did that I worked on that and then i kind of realized that why don't i only produce it and why don't i start a company called sky pictures 
Mm-hmm. And that was my thing. And they showed me you're oh, stupid. Please, this let's just direct and just keep quiet. Don't get into all this production and everything. I said no. I want to do it. Reason being is because I want to make stories which I believe in, and I want to give wings to so many more directors and storytellers who can, like you know, make a difference through their stories. Um, so I started off Earth Sky like that. Oh, and uh, I started off Earth Sky like that, and um, we did that, and then we did uh, Ankahi, which was a short film series for Netflix. One of the shorts for Netflix. Then we did Gharki Murgi uh, for another short with Sony, which mm-hmm. was uh, which was selected for Bricks. Then we produced uh, Tarla this year, yeah. which it another was great movie. My first time director or writer called Piyush who worked with me in Lubinet. and okay. uh, gave him a chance because we felt those kind of stories needed to be told uh, mm-hmm. then we uh, then we uh, co-produced Bawal which was Nitesh's film then we uh, co-produced another film this year called uh, Tum Se Na Ho Paega which is again an entrepreneur journey story mm-hmm. with Hot Star and uh, that's how it started but in the meanwhile what I tried what I tried doing is that uh, I'm pretty restless in terms of you know innovating and doing new things so i uh i'm i have a great interest in the arts and crafts of our country and paintings and textures and textiles i'm a i'm a i would say a textile connoisseur kind of person and i have many textile friends so right now we are tying up uh with a lot of these young textile designers and you know telling their stories through uh, through something called roots which mm-hmm. uh, which is almost like a like a csr thing for me uh, to do that uh and then i started off with earth sky moon which was only for digital uh digital ads and brand because the 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 brand side of me that that blood in me will never go off so so i kind of realized that a lot of our clients and a lot of agencies wanted a uh, lot wanted uh, you know digital communication and ads and writing so okay. we did something for carrot lane right now we're doing two more campaigns for smaller brands but who have big ideas so yeah that's where it is going forward now but okay. uh, it's to keep doing things 